What's up guys, it's my first time making this type of video, but in today's video I'm going to show you how to make custom loading screens with Photoshop and Sony Vegas. Uh, and don't worry if you don't have them, there's like ways to get Sony Vegas and Photoshop for free like I did. I'll just leave the video links in the description. And, alright, whatever, let's just get this started. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is go to the first link in the description. And, it'll take you to a media fire just like this uh... And then you just want to click download ah shit <laughs> I would have, you could just download these individually if you want just click this right here yeah, and then just shove them all in a file the first thing you want to do is obviously launch fortnite just wait for that to load up alright I mean, I don't know why that took longer than usual, but all right. When you get here, uh, choose any skin or outfit that you want because we'll be uh going through. <coughs> I mean, making a replay. So just pick your best skin or whatever skin you like, and hop in a playground. And then you can mess with the settings like day or night. Day usually looks better though. And then just uh, ready up. Okay, okay. Once you're in here, uh, go to whatever location you want on the map. Um, so I'm gonna just choose uh, Mountain near Paradise Palms. So land wherever you want and dance there for like around 15 seconds or however long you want your clip to be and I, I suggest you choose like a repetitive dance that like stays on forever and doesn't uh, end like this one it's better if they're like this so yeah, just wait here for like 15 seconds or like dance uh, I think this is close enough so leave the playground Then uh, career replays. Uh, whatever. Quick confirm. Okay, and then skip to the part where you start dancing. So mine's was like around here. Okay, so I recommend drone attach since it's a little easier to work with that. And if you want like your background to look better, you could turn up the textures and post processing and shadows and the effects also. And then press H and that'll hide the HUD. And then you just record this motion, this right here for like, I don't know, like 15 seconds. Okay. After you're done recording, you could just close out the game entirely and find your recording. Oh, shit, that's a lot. Okay, so it'd be this one right here. Okay, now that you have that recording, uh, just leave it there and open up this custom Sony Vegas file right here. And then, actually, you don't have to open up that. Open up Photoshop, actually. Okay. File open and then you find wherever your file that you just downloaded is. So for me it's right here. Um and then open up the template.psd. Okay, so here where you edit this up, it's super simple. Go to the group that says name and this is where you put your name. You could put like some gay ass name like Andrew or something. Oh shoot, sorry. You have to uh, click the check also and if you don't like where it is or if you want to move it around just press this arrow and then you can move it around or if you want it to be the name to be bigger 
I just change the font size. Okay, now if you want to change the social, just go to the social media tab and uh, switch it up. So if you want your Snapchat username to be something stupid like Andrew again, uh, you can do that. And if you don't like where it's positioned, you can do the same thing and move it around. Um, uh, there's a YouTube logo here, but you can just move that at the bottom over here somewhere. Uh, uh, so you can add a watermark like I had right there, but I have mine uh, disabled for now. And if you want to change like what these say, so like subscribe, you want to change it to I don't know, uh, follow my Twitch. And if that hap if this happens to you, all you gotta do is extend this. So go to the corner, just do that. And if it does something like if the thing is like out of the border, just change the font size down to where it fits. And then click File, Save As. Change it to PNG. Uh, I am blind right here. Then name it whatever you want, but something you can remember. Click OK, and then you can save this if you want. I recommend you do, but I'm not. And then this is how it should look after you're done with everything. And then you next you open up Sony Vegas, and then that should load. It's taking a minute. Okay, what you're gonna do? Uh, just ignore all missing files and leave them alone for now. Okay, so right here, this is where you insert your music or any instrumentals you want. I think this is still an instrumental from the old one I did. It's not an instrumental; it's a whole ass song. Sorry. Yeah, but you can put whatever you want right there. And right here, this is where you're gonna put your actual clip. So you find the recording. You just drag it in here, or wherever you want to. Uh, unlink it by pressing U uh, from the audio and delete the audio. Just drag this to here, and just start it. Uh, okay, so that's where I started dancing. So I'm going to uh, delete this whole part where I wasn't. And if your clip is shorter than 50 seconds, it's fine. All you have to do is drag these down to where it matches the uh, clip length or whatever. So this is what you have so far. And all you have to, the next thing you have to do is uh, drag this in and put it. Shoot, I can't put it. But okay, just put it right here. And then it'll be right here. And there's everything. Uh, and if you want to watermark it, just uh, go to this tab right here and just click Edit Generated Media. <sighs> this will load up, and then you could just change the name to whatever you want. I have mine down there. You can name it to Andrew or something. You have to do it to both of them since uh, I accidentally. Un Actually, you won't have to do it to both of them. Just drag this, and then just. Uh, I usually have these out the fade out at one second. watermark will be right here so I'm pretty sure that's oh actually there's another thing in the folder that I included that's only if you want to do it it's this random dust particle right here yeah just create a new video layer shoot and just drag it to the top and just uh, it's and then don't worry if it's doing this all you have to do just press these three little lines right here. Uh, this go to here and then click add. So they will appear right there. See? So it's perfect. And next you just click render as. Uh, and it'll take a while to load sometimes. And then just click whatever, choose whatever render setting you want. And then just click render. We'll be back when this is done rendering. Okay, so after it's done rendering, just click close. You can save it up or whatever, but I'm not because it's the template. Uh, and then go to wherever you had the video saved. And this should be the final product if I can find it. Alright, so it'll be right here. And this is how the final product would look. Alright.
right so that's how you do it and thank you for watching